This is a cold first winter morning that we got here in the St. Louis area where it's down around 20 degrees. And it's kind of premature because we're just into our second week of November. It shouldn't be that cold yet, but it took me a long time to get this truck to start taking any air at all. Um, I'm only getting showing about 70 pounds of air right now, and um, and that's because I was passing a blowtorch underneath the air dryer. In my case, the air dryer is right down here. If you saw my air dryer bumper video. Passing a blowtorch underneath there. finally started taking air and um, I'm at my job and I brought the blowtorch back into the shop because it's not my blowtorch it belongs to the company's shop here so I started taking air and I was in there just chit-chatting with the mechanics for a couple of minutes maybe five minutes more and I came back out thinking I should be all fully charged up now well I'm not it's only taking 70 pounds and the air is spitting out of my compressor, not the uh, air dryer. If I gas on it, what's my RPMs? Right now they're a thousand. If I gas on it, it'll start spitting again. Or it did. Let's see if it still does. Hear that? That's spitting out the um, relief valve on the compressor. So the, the air is still clogged up. And I'm not an expert on these air brake systems. When I find a leak, I just change the part that's leaking. Anyway, the guys in the shop were telling me I might need to take the hose off of the air compressor pour some alcohol in it, try to get it to go through. Well, they were telling me that when I wasn't getting any air at all, and I said, well, it's not going to go through that hose. There's no air. There's nothing. It's not nothing's going through. So I have to wait until we get some air to go through. So now that uh, it is taking some air, maybe it's time to do the, um, the hose, take the hose off and pour some alcohol in it. That is the air hose I need to take off the compressor and pour alcohol in. And I don't even have a wrench in my truck to fit that, so I'll have to borrow one from the shop. And let's see if that does what I need it to do. That's not my engine you hear running in the background. That's another, another truck over here. Okay, I got this line off of here. I'm going to hold it up. And I'm gonna pour alcohol out of this bottle here into the airline. And if I was at my own shop at home, I would stick an air hose from the shop. It's got a rubber tip on it in here and force it through, but it's not an option. So I just pour it in there and then I have to hook it back up, start up the motor, take it back off and do it again three or four times and hopefully that'll get it. Looks like it's building air faster. I actually got that, uh, what was left in that bottle, it was a little over half a bottle. I actually got all of that to pour right in there, in that hose, slowly. on it pretty hard now and it doesn't seem to be spinning anymore up around what 17-1800 air seems to be moving on up there filling up the tanks so that was it apparently I hope
gets to 120, it should, uh, it should turn off the compressor. There, I just heard it blow outside. I'm going to go on ahead and push in the trailer brakes. Send some air back there. Well, looks like we got the brake system freed up. Alright, thanks for watching.